After the land restoration process, Dularia needed a building, a multi-purpose structure that would serve as a home for our manager family, a workshop and meeting space, and a storage area. Staying true to Dularia's cornerstones of education, environment, empowerment, and enterprise, we chose to make a natural building using the earth bag method. The soil on Dularia land is composed of more than 90% clay, which means we would have had to bring in large quantities of sand to mix with it to make any other type of natural building style. Sand is being mined extensively from riverbeds, which has a devastating effect on riverine ecosystems. So we minimize the use of sand and built using the earth bag method, which has the major advantage of being feasible with any soil type. This method was also completely new to the Santal village community which Dularia empowers. They have been building for centuries using the cob method, which is dying out and being replaced by brick and cement structures. By bringing in expert consultation from Shagun Singh and Soumya Tiwari, our collaborators at Gili Mitti, we were able to teach our Santal village workers a novel method that not only amazed them, but also taught them a skill that can help them generate income in the future. This way, while we were building, we were also teaching, demonstrating, empowering, and bonding with our community over fun picnics and morning circles. The entire process was managed by our brilliant, capable, and enthusiastic Santal manager couple, Saraswati and Jitu Baski. We started with a traditional ceremony to bless the building site in keeping with the local tradition. Then we cleared the land, marked and started digging our pie-shaped foundation to ensure that no moisture seeps in through the stone rubble foundation. We used a layer of geotextile to wrap around it. Then we built our plinth using rocks from a local quarry, bound using a traditional mortar made using surki, which is a powder made of crushed bricks fermented with lime and jaggery. Surki mortar used to be very common. It lasts for centuries and hardens with time, compared to cement that starts to swell and crack in about a hundred years. We had to be quite inventive to bring back this tradition, as Surki is no longer available in the market. We ended up employing a road roller to crush the waste bricks from a local kiln. Then we started laying the recycled cement bags, which we had collected from local construction sites that were discarding them. We cleaned the bags and filled them with the soil from our plot. The bags were tamped to make bricks and joined using a layer of barbed wire. The roof was built simultaneously with raising the walls as it rested on wooden pillars and its structure could provide shade to our construction site. The roof showcases the vernacular style of chala roofs, another dyeing art form indigenous to West Bengal and the mud plastering was done with the expertise of the Santal women who've perfected this art passed down for centuries. Our entire building process blended the old with the new, bringing out creativity of the local artisans while pushing them to their limits by teaching them something they had previously never imagined possible. Wow, so beautiful.